Okay, good morning everybody, or I should say afternoon, it's just so gloomy here, it feels like morning or night at the moment. Anyway, um, welcome back to my beginner learning series, whatever we want to call it. So, today is going to talk about the industrial that I have. I have a 1181N, as you can see right here. This is a walking foot industrial machine sold by Juki. I, uh, there are a couple of piece, uh, places that sell them. I believe it's Sunny Sewing Machines, uh, sells them and a couple of other places. My best advice to you is to research. Um, you need to sit down and think about what you're going to sew, uh, what you have in mind and what kind of machine is right for you. I chose a walking foot because I was mainly making bags at the time as i go look back i kind of wish i had got the i can't remember the model number but the juki industrial but it's not a walking foot that way i can sew lighter material but i'm with this and i love it anyway so as you can see it comes with the table and the head with the motor um at least that's how i got my setup so I know Amazon, I think, believe, I believe they said they will sell just the head with the motor, but without the table, they also uh, sell the whole setup. So this stand right here is your thread stand where it comes through and I'll go through threading it. And this is the hand wheel. This right here, let me move you over here. This is where you will thread your bobbins. Your bobbin goes on here. So this little piece right here, and when you get this uh, for them, I know where I got mine, they sent an instructional, instructional video, but you can also ask away and anybody will help you in their YouTube videos. But your bobbin goes on here and you can thread it and some people I've heard you can thread while you sew. I don't like that because it tends to, my bobbin, the thread on my bobbin tends to be a little bit too loose doing that. So I just thread it as I need it. So that's how that works. Let me pull this off. Oh, I think I got the wrong... This piece right here, this middle piece, opens and closes depending on the size of your hole for your bobbin. I believe these are Class M bobbins. I ordered mine straight from um, China. So the holes, each one of them, the holes are just a slightly different. So I just moved that as needed. Okay, and then it comes with the bobbin case. And when I ordered more bobbins, it came with an extra one. So, and then... Then you have your bobbins. I suggest ordering more bobbins. As you can see, I have, I go through those. So I have roughly around two for the, each for the white and the black and brown. And then one for my miscellaneous colors. And today I am making a backpack. So I have my blue. So let's see if I can set this up where y'all can see it. And I will thread it before we go further. Okay, so, okay, so here's the thread that I discussed in the very first video that I get from Amazon. So as you can see right here, it sits back here on the stand. You have two of them, one for threading or, or extra threading your bobbin and then one. I, other uh other than black and white i normally only get one color of each so for my blue i just have one so let's see if you can follow this so you have your two holes up here at the very top so we're going to go through one hole pull it down okay so let me see if i can do this one-handed so the way I thread my machine, you have these two holes right here. So I'll go from the front to the back on the top one. 
see the top one from the front to the back then I go from the back to the front through the bottom hole and I pull it then it just follows down through the line you have this hole comes through then this around that tension disc There we go. So around this tension disc right here. Now for the tension on this machine, I'm still playing with it. I kind of got it where I like it, so I don't like to mess with it. But you have these two right here. And you have this one. This is for your foot itself. So go back through this hole around this tension disc. Just like that so you're going down around this tension disc into this metal hook into this other metal hook and then down around this metal hook make sure your needle right here this you're gonna go through this hole If it will go through it. Okay. And then through, as you can see, we went through this hole. Oops. Went through this hole. Now we're going to come down through here. Right? Now, I don't know if you can see it. This little piece, we're gonna wind your thread around that, just like that. And then you have a, another hole right here on top. You're gonna go through that. And then through your needle. Okay, and when I thread mine, I like to hold it out here so it doesn't get twisted around that needle head because that's happened. So if you are having problems when you start sewing, the first thing I always do is make sure that it is threaded correctly. Sometimes I won't thread it through these t um, tension discs right all the way, so it messes up that. So always check how you thread it if you start noticing something is wrong. Okay, so now, this little door, on at least on this model, this little door opens so you can see your bobbin right down through there. So as you can see, there is, this is where your bobbin will go, right there. So we just put it in the bobbin case, pull that thread through that notch right there. And pull it around to where it pops out right there so you're gonna put it through this notch pull it around through here which it did not and around that I don't know if you can see it that well and then you're just gonna pop it like a regular sewing machine into here till you hear that click then pull the bottom up and now your machine is ready to go okay so the one thing i know this might sound dumb but i'm just going to throw it out there make sure that's dropped okay so i don't know why i did not know this so i'm just going to say it your this machine comes with a this right here this lifts your foot up and and lets it back down so your thread Right here, if you notice, let me get the right one. This is coming from the needle, as you can see. 
It's coming from the needle. It will not, you cannot pull it with this foot down right here. You can lift it up here and it will come if it's not twisted. So it will come if you lift this piece or you can lift it by your leg and you can pull the thread. But if that foot is down, your thread will not, you cannot pull the, uh, the thread from up here. It will still come from the bobbin. I know that might be dumb and some people might say, oh yeah, that makes sense. It did not make sense to me. I could not figure out why I could not get my thread to come and that's why because you have to have this uh lifted up so um here's another thing that i'm going to show you if you are having problems with the speed uh, i got a servo motor on mine and you can control the speed right now mine is set to between 970 and 1280 and that's only because that's just comfortable for me um, but I have heard and I also recommend that when you are threading your machine to turn that servo, servo motor up and let the oil go through here. These are made for heavy duty stuff. That's right. But, and you can go slow, but I really do recommend that when you're threading the machine, you turn the motor up. And let that oil go through to help keep your machine oiled. Um, I've oiled my machine a couple of times. So through all of these little pop-ups, I've dropped a little bit of oil in here. And back here, whenever I hear that's starting to sound dry. Because I have pets in my house. And it can get a little bit dusty. So, let me show you about this foot pedal that help has helped me control my speed better okay so here is the setup on the bottom this is the servo motor correct so this is the right here that is the pole that raises and lowers your foot pedal so when you were putting this together um, I know my fiance, when he put mine together, he had it up really high and I didn't really like it, but I just went with it. And because I'm heavy footed, as soon as I would touch the pedal, it would take off running. So I, it was very hard for me to sew. So if you are having problems with that, look at the height of your foot pedal. You can lower it and raise it as needed. See, if you look at mine, mine is almost pretty much flat. And that helps. So I can put, let me get up here. I can put my whole foot on here, just like that, and then just use my toes to go back and forth um, for the speed. So if you're having problems with the speed, look at the height of your foot pedal and see if, and lower it and see if that will, if that helps at all. So. That's pretty much it. Once you thread the machine and you get this, and if you're ever wanting to test the speed out with your servo motor, I would recommend unthreading or pulling the thread back because this needle will move when you push the foot pedal. Even when you're threading your machine, that needle will move. So I always pull my thread back. Your bobbin's all right, but just pull this thread back out. Just a little bit, just out of the needle and out of the way. And then you can test the speed of your motor. Now, the one thing about feet for this machine, I know we went over feet for the domestic machine. So let me get the let me get my feet out. I honestly just use the feet that come with the machine. Uh, I have taught myself how to use it with um, zippers. I just rest this on top of the zipper and I just go. But it does come, you can order more feet for it. For it. They have zipper feet, like this is the left zipper foot. And because it is a walking machine, your feet will come most of the time with two pieces. This is a right zipper foot. 
depending on which side of the zipper you're sewing with. And I have a, yeah, I have some other feet that I forgot to label. So I believe this, honestly, I don't, I can't remember what that is. And they have uh, piping feet. That's what this is. You can use this with piping. But I don't, I, I haven't really gotten into piping. Um, I probably will soon. But normally, for the most part, this is just the foot that came with the machine is the foot that I use. Now, changing your needle is very simple. You just unscrew this little bitty screw right here and you pull it out. Now when you put your needle in, the it's going to be sideways. Whereas in a domestic, you're threading it from front to back and the hole is facing you. On your on this machine, your hole is going from left to right. So when you're threading it, you're threading it from left to right. So make sure that your needle is inserted correctly. And as you can see, I have magnets on here. You can decorate this. I haven't put any, I need some frog stickers because as you can tell, I love frogs. So these two, there's a video on YouTube on how to adjust for these. If your walking feet are leaving marks on your vinyl or material, you can adjust these and this tightens and loosens it. So pretty much that's it. You get your thread, your machine threaded and your foot pedal situated, get you some vinyl and fabric and you are ready to go. Um, again, this walking foot will not sew lightweight material. So if you want to use cotton, make sure you interface it with a couple of layers of 101 or 808, 809. I've been using TNT Fusion, Twisted Needle Threads, I believe. So um, they, I don't know if they're still selling it, but it's kind of like in between Deckerville Heavy to me and the 808. So it can replace fleece. It doesn't wrinkle like 808 does, but it's heavier than 101, but not as heavy as Deckerville Heavy. So that's what I use. But I reckon if you use this machine and want to make something with cotton, which is what I do all the time, use interfacing lots of it or this machine will eat it okay so i hope this was informational for you and i know christmas is day after tomorrow i'm not sure when i will put out another video if it's going to be tomorrow or sometime for the beginner series um, i know after this we are going to move back to the domestic so if you have and we are going to make some napkins so if, oops, if you have some cotton material and we do not interface those, so it's, you just need cotton and some matching thread, cotton material, and you can get about two napkins, probably more depending on the size you want them, out of a fat quarter. So if you want to get some materials ready, we might try that tomorrow. I don't have much going on before tomorrow night. And that's what we'll be doing. All right. Thank you. Merry Christmas.